I'm feeling a little extra summery today. We are gonna go up to the Duluth, Minnesota today and we're gonna go to Canal Park and just let the kids play. Um, there's a nice playground there and I'm gonna bring you guys with so you can see and vlog some of the area. It's beautiful. And today's gonna be an extra gorgeous day. But first, I wanted to show you a rundown of my makeup. Actually, my shirt is from H&M. Not sure. I bought it last year though, but it was still available. I'll link it. It's really cute. You can wear it like, let's see, I'll sit you down. You can wear it up like this, or if you want to have a little off the shoulder action, you can do that. You don't have to wear a dang strapless bra with it, but I will actually link below the strapless bra I'm wearing because it's for real comfortable. It doesn't move. Um, it's, it's the best one that I've found and I've owned several, but I will link it below because I think it's one worth checking out. Um, Especially if you're larger chested, it just really holds them in. So, not that I'm huge, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so, anyways, today I kind of pulled my hair back. This is the first time I've kind of, you know, just pulled her back in a ponytail, and I'm kind of loving that. But I wanted to show you what I did, like a makeup of the day, because it's very summery today. So, I started off with, once again, layering. I'm telling you, try this. Layer your primer with a setting spray, because I legit was looking at my face last night. What was it like? 8 o'clock. I had put my makeup on at 10.30 was when I put my foundation on. 8 o'clock at night. Still didn't even break up. Like, it looked so good. So, I don't I don't know if it's specifically this. However, this is working really well for me. The Derma, Brent, Derma Blend Makeup Setting Spray. It's working really well. And then today I did the Tarte Maracuja Miracle. They don't make this anymore. The closest thing I'd say in the Tarte line would be the, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation, even though I feel like this gives a it's more pigmented within the liquid so it gives a little more coverage but you can build up the rainforest of the sea and then I do my hourglass primer which I'm still going strong with um that's my base my blush is hourglass diffused heat love this color it's really a pretty coral color I feel like I need to blend it out a little bit more though uh we'll just do this a little bit uh, my bronzer is hourglass um luminous light bronzer you can come in hon I'm just telling them what my makeup of the day is. Where You know what it looks like. I don't know where I put it. Um, highlighter is Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light because I love it. It's just seriously so pretty on the skin. It doesn't look chunky. It's just really a lit, like a glow, more of like a glow, which is why I really enjoy this. And then on my eyes, I used the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And real simple, I used Raw Sienna in the crease. And then I deepened up my Outer V with Red Ochre. And then my lid is the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Kit and Karma, my favorite one. And that's it, real simple. No eyeliner, just mascara, and my mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash. Really good stuff, really good. And then what else? Brows are always Anastasia. Uh, my lips, I lined my lips actually, where is it? I left it out on purpose, where is it? It's the Prestige uh, Lip Liner in the shade Poppy. If you wear coral lipstick at all, this is a really great drugstore liner that's like the most unique color I found for a lip liner to pair with a coral lipstick and it's affordable. So the Prestige brand, Poppy. And then my lip is a Tom Ford lipstick in the shade True Coral. It's a little bit, well it's called True Coral, but I feel like it's more of like a, like an orangey color, but it's really pretty. So I wanted to go for a very coral, I like to wear coral, lip and eye things like warm on my eyes when I do navy blue because I feel like it just contrasts really well. Typically I would have worn a red lip but that can get a little bit more patriotic even though it still looks good so today I just kind of want to do something less patriotic and a little bit more like just straight up summery. So that's everything. That's my look of the day here. I'm going to finish my coffee and then I'm going to head off. Well I'm not going to head off. We're going to head off and bring you guys along. It's going to be a lot of fun. And my jeans. I wore what was it yesterday i wore these same ones but in the light color these are the gap girlfriend jeans i love them these ones are a darker wash so they can be a little bit more dressy but I, like i said yesterday they're a higher waist so you know if you're feeling a little bit whatever you know these these are just so comfortable the girlfriend style they do have cuffs you can roll them all the way down if you want to wear them like this i just kind of like to cuff them i think it looks really cute with like shoes like a pair of Sperry's or some flip-flops. I feel this way sometimes too. <laughs> some days.
When I was little, Chloe, mommy used to go to the gift shop and buy these. I'd collect them. They had different dogs. Ooh, mommy. Yes. You know which one I what, what, honey? I want to do. The ship is out here to tour. This is the one I was talking about the other day, up here in Duluth, that you can go through, the Edmund Fitzgerald. I want. You know which one I want, Mama? What, honey? All these. Oh. Cute little bookstore, tons of little, well, not just little kids, but young kids' books. Mad Libs, oh gosh, I remember these. These were fun. For the kids that know. All the fun little toys. This is inside the DeWitt Sites building here in Duluth. There's a bunch of neat little stores. This is basically a, a store full of kids' toys and trinkets and just all kinds of, oh my gosh, I used to have a spirograph. Kind of some unique things that you can't really find at your average Toys R Us anymore or Target kind of thing. Scrapbooking. I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. This is the building we were just in, Fitgers. It's got a bunch of cool shops in it and there's a cute little cafe over there. And you have some Mexican food. Little Angie's Cantina. Yes, there's lots of those. No, no, Chloe, come on. Trolley, guys. You can take the trolley around here. Yeah, Daddy used to work there. Rent bikes and ride. We'll go over there by the lake. But there's a path. Daddy used to work there, Justin. I'm gonna go there. Up. Oh. Cool. We're gonna eat. Guys. We're gonna go have some lunch here at Grandma's. Grandma's I'm saloon. Go really pretty flowers. They're, the Punya baskets here always get huge. They're not as big this year, but they're usually just huge. They love the cooler weather. I ordered this wine. I thought it sounded really interesting with the graphite and mint aroma, but it's supposed to be really just full of red berries, and that cedar note's going to be really yummy too. Oh, it's a ship! I didn't yeah. even notice that. That's what, you know, I think you've gotten that before. That's really cute. Oh, yeah, someone had me some. Oh, here, honey, you are going to get to try the bent paddle right there. This is the bent. All these are locally brewed here. So this is the Bent Paddle Brewery. Then we have the Lake Superior Brewery, the Castle Danger, and then the Blacklist Artisan Ales IPA. Actually, it's a Belgian IPA. They ordered a chicken Caesar salad. Justin ordered a Reuben. That looks good. I love Reubens. And the kids each got burgers with some fruit. So this is the Duluth lift bridge and ships go through here. Of course, that's how they travel from Great Lake to Great Lake and the port is in there. So the ship will honk its horn and then the bridge lifts up and can go underneath over there into the port. That over there is Wisconsin. This is Duluth Point. There's a strip of land here and there's a lot of really nice homes out there. And then this is Lake Superior. There's a couple lighthouses here and we're gonna walk along the lakeshore here. There's a little museum here. That is part of downtown Duluth here. And if I pan over a little bit more, I hope the wind is not on this microphone. There's more of downtown. So the lake walk extends all the way up to over this direction. It's a really beautiful day here today too. this before but there's a bunch of locks take a picture on these little what are these driftwoods take a picture of me and I'm like what is this and Justin thinks it's a symbol of like of people's love you like you lock it and you throw the key away so now I guess it's considered kind of a piece of art so we are here Duluth this is Superior Wisconsin so Duluth Minnesota Superior Wisconsin I grew up like right about here, about 30 miles south of Superior. And we used to vacation every year on the North Shore in Grand Marais. I've been to Thunder Bay a few times in the Grand Portage area. But here is a perspective of how big Lake Superior is. So we have Michigan, this is Canada. And then actually it flows into Lake Michigan, which is over here, so. This is something I literally have never done. And never, you will never get me out there, but there are kids 
jumping off this old building into into the water and it's ice cold I mean I drink Lake Superior water but I would definitely not swim in it <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not close enough, but there's the train. It goes up the North Shore, and you can take it for lunch or dinner. It's kind of a neat thing to do if you want to see a little bit more scenic. It's fun to get on that. remember seeing this here before. made a pet. She found a ladybug and then she picked this weed straight out of the ground. I got another. Okay, I Root and all, she made good. a home. You stay on this bench. Oh, you I'm got two. Go Look at that. He's got a main house and a guest house. I'm going to go rinse your shoes. You stay here. Hi, bud. He can be a tanky one. Are you the doorkeeper? Oh, he is. Jasper. Kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, buddy! What are you doing? A little outfit of the day post. I swear I've been showing you the same thing, but I basically brought three pairs of pants, and I really, truly love these Gap Girlfriend jeans. These are the darker wash. They just fit really nice. They're a medium rise, and you can wear them cuffed like I have or uncuff them. And then my Sperry's I got at Nordstrom Rack, just a white pair with the blue trim. I really like these, and they're super comfortable. And then my shirt is from Old Navy, and it's just like a boat neck style. And it has a little bit of stretch in it, so it's just really soft and comfortable. And I have another one that you've seen me wear like 1,150 times. Makeup of the day, um, I'll show you outside, but I wanted to wear a red lip and just a really classic eye. Come on, let's go potty. This is Glory. This is my mom's dog. He's also a Sheltie. She's a sable and white. She's a little thing. Come on. Come on, fluffy fluff. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. Let's go. She doesn't listen too well. She kind of does her own thing. <laughs> She's like, you are not my master. Come on, let's go potty. Come on, up these stairs. Run. Fast as you can. Up the stairs. No? You need to go potty? You go outside? She's like, dummy, we are outside. My mom's got some flowers going here. These ones are pretty. Pretty sure mine have died, um, but I don't. I don't care. I was. And I always kill my flowers because I usually overwater them. She's got some purple ones. She's got some pretty deep pink ones. Yellow and pink and white ones. This is my parents' house. Actually, well, this is where I grew up. Um, it's a berm home. So that's the roof of the house, and that's the yard are in the ground so that side over there this side and then the back and the front the front of it here is all windows my dad built this house in 1984 there's some flowers here in the front they used to do a lot of gardening and stuff but you know you get tired of doing that so now just kind of kept the landscaping minimal with the rocks. Once upon a time, I painted all of our dead animals on rocks. I was real bored one summer, and um, I thought this was a genius creative idea. Let's paint every animal we've ever had that has passed on onto a rock. So mom and I are going on a mom and daughter day. We're gonna go have lunch. We're gonna go shopping because that's what you do. That's what you do. Uh, so here's my makeup. I did the Viseart Matte Palette on my eyes. My lid is Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. My lashes are Ardell Double Wispies, which I'm really loving these double ones because it's just a little extra floof, a little extra volume. And then um, blush. Hourglass Mood Exposure. 
and the hourglass brilliant highlighter because it's the only one I brought and that's why it's just continually gets used. I did curl my hair today but it kind of fell. I woke up and just kind of curled it real fast and then flew out the door and well, it didn't stay curled. My lips are Marc Jacobs So Rouge. It's a red lipstick and I really love it. I first lined my lips with Lancome Ideal to create a little bit of that ombre situation but anyways, and this is that Lululemon jacket I had showed a while back. I love these coats. When you zip it up, it gives you real nice like figure here. And I love that you can do this. And then you can cover your whole hand if you're running. I love it, and I love this color, so. Oh, the dog, she, you see her? She's like, I'm going potty. Windy day today. A lot of clouds and such, but we're driving from Wisconsin over the bridge to Duluth, Minnesota. Watch out, Debbie Stewart's driving. We may or may not get to our destination in one piece, but. I'm turning left here. Yep. I don't know where I'm going now, I think. She thinks. She's really not quite sure where she's going. I never had. End of July. No, actually, it's only been 12 today. The last time we drove up here, Chelsea, two years ago, you drove up here. I usually do drive just for this exact reason. Because you're dangerous behind the wheel, even with all your fancy lane assists and cameras. And look at all these gadgets that help me drive, but I still am not still very have good. To drive. I have to, like, it's still, not, still not there very good at this. Has to What a terrible day for a race. Here's where we're going for lunch. Nice, I like it. Ba bene. Yummy yum. It's not overly busy. It was super nice out. It would change the whole thing. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit. People are running a race. It's a little bit chilly today. The train goes by right here. Yeah, they got a large wine. Okay, so I did mom's makeup today, and she I, I didn't tell her what I was doing, but I gave her some glitter, and I gave her some lashes, and she's like, uh, oh my gosh, I'm too glitzy. So I said, well, I'll go throw some dry shampoo in that hair, and we're leaving. So, oh, and there's her necklace. I have I bought her that necklace. We, I have the matching one. Outfit of the day. We just ordered coffee. Now we have to decide what to eat. I got a vanilla latte, double shot of espresso. Mom's got herself some black coffee. <laughs> I told her, get, she didn't sleep last night. I said, you need a double shot. Just brood. Just brood. Good old boring brood. <laughs> It, even the bathroom here has a view of the lake. And check it out, you use the bathroom and then you come out here to wash your hands. That's kind of cute. The tile is really fun here. Look how cool these light fixtures are. Oh, that is so fun. Oh, yeah. That's the one that was parked when we came over the bridge. It's moving pretty fast. I'm hoping that, that's why I'm hoping that Saturday is sunny. So Our mom salmon. ordered salmon. Some smoked salmon with onions, I think, and a little balsamic vinaigrette on the salad. And then I cannot pass up a pesto and mozzarella panini, so that's what I went for. And then it comes with a little salad. Mom says, what are you doing? <laughs> All these pictures. I said, we're it. vlogging the, our whole shopping experience. <laughs> the first place we're going to. What beer one? Because oh. Mom and I like this store. Well, we found some nice balls. <laughs> Mom's pulling them through the store in our little shopping cart. This is what I think I'm going to get. I'm going to get this basket 
with these four balls for my kitchen or my dining room table because I like the element of glam but I also still have a very practical slightly more rustic taste as well so I like to do the mixture and I think this juxtaposition of kind of glam with the more rustic basket and I could totally reuse this basket for something else but I like the length to mimic the length of my table and then my mom's gonna get a couple of these tealy blue ones because she has lots of teal blue accents in her home and then I thought I'd get this cute little bird one to put in my existing basket I have on my living room table because I have basically greens and creams and just natural elements so I thought that was cute and then for my bedroom or even my makeup table where you guys always see I might stick these on my little white sh floating shelves that I have I have like my kids pictures up there right now but I thought this adds a little little shimmer or something behind me well two hours later we left pier one I you know when you're looking for stuff to like design one hour it felt like two <laughs> it takes a while so she got some stuff I got some stuff and now I always park in the same spot every time I come to this mall Barnes and Noble Barnes and Noble because I almost always get a coffee and use the bathroom so just got home and I thought I would show you a few of the things that I got. My mom needed to head back to feed her cats and her puppy. Um, we've been gone kind of for most of the day. So we had a great day. Um, it turned into winter while we were shopping. It's 52 degrees out and windy and freezing. Um, but I wanted to show you a few things that I got just because it's fun to see what people buy. Um, I did get some stuff at Pier 1. I'm going to wait till I get home and maybe do house tour. Maybe not house tour, like what I bought kind of thing. I don't know. Let, let me know, remind me. And when I get back to my house in Texas, I'll show you. But I picked up this cute wallflower at Bath and Body Works for my bathroom. I like how it's kind of beachy. Of course, you know, stores always have their things out seasonally. If you hear someone talking, she's playing babies. Um, but anyways, uh, it's a little beachy, but I thought for my bathroom it would be really pretty because I just have like a few glitzy type things in my bathroom. And then I bought three bulbs, like scents, and a couple of the ones that I bought, um, vanilla birch I bought, Mah vanilla birch, bergamot, waters, and tiki beach were the three scents that I bought. So that's what I picked up at Bath and Body Works. That, that'd be a really dumb thumbnail. Okay. Um, then we went to, um, well, we went to a few places, but first we went to Barnes and Noble, and they had a section there on a table, and it was buy two books, get one three, get one free. And I was like, man, that's a great deal, because I actually just recently went to Barnes and Noble and bought two books, and then I bought another one, and now I bought three more. And you're thinking, what the heck? See, Isaac's gonna be starting school this year, so I figure I'm gonna have a lot more downtime during the day to just read and <laughs> not have any interruptions. And I, I used to be a reader. I still am. I just kind of put it on the back burner as my children were young and whatever. Stuff like that happens. I've been putting all of my energy and downtime into my channel. And so for the past few years, that's what I've been doing. Editing and uploading and doing makeup, that kind of thing. But I do like other things in life. Um, so I bought three books. I bought The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. This one came on recommendations from actually several of the people that worked there. They had like an employee recommendations uh, section. And so this was the first one. And as always, if any of you have any recommendations of books, whether it be series or an author or a specific title, uh, let me know down, down in the comments so that I can take a look at it. This one's called Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. And this one is based on a true story. Um, it's gonna take this one takes place like um, during the 1930s and then this one is Emily Giffen and I've read several of her books but this one's called first comes love I have no idea if this is a more recent one or not um, I read her something borrowed something blue series years ago and I haven't read anything by her in years so I got those three titles oh. and um, where else did we look? We went to, oh, Express. I tried on a few things at Express, but I didn't like how it fit me. And the other day when I went shopping with my aunt, I didn't try those shirts on, so now I'm worried they don't fit, but we're just gonna roll with it and hope they do. Um, but I didn't like how they fit um, on my body. It just, I wasn't feeling it, even though they had some cute stuff. Um, and then we headed over to American Eagle, and this soft and sexy line that they have 
I love. So this is their socks, socks, that's not the word, soft and sexy tee. I bought a size small because it's a little bit of a larger, more comfy fit, which is my jam. I don't like things to be too tight, even though the shirt I'm wearing today is a little bit more tight. Um, <laughs> I just like to wear these big soft tees, and this is kind of a different color. It's like a, uh, sorry, I just heard my cat meow or something. It's like a greenish gray color. And it's kind of just, you know, flowy and eat as much as you want in this kind of thing. This is a buffet t-shirt, if there ever were one. Um, and so then I bought a second, like, soft and sexy one. But this one is kind of like a, what is this? Like a tie, not really tie, kind of tie-dyed. And then it has, like, all these, well, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm the person that sits in the, tr the change room and wonders, am I wearing this right? Do I have this on correctly? And I thought about wandering out and asking, but then I'm like, I don't want to be, like, weird. Because I already am like weird and awkward. But anyway, so it's got the crisscross v-neck here. And it's a really pretty maroon shade. And I just thought it was, it's a good color. It's a nice fall uh, color. I also bought a small on that. In case you want to order online, just know these are kind of large. Like they're just, they're meant to be. But if you want it not tight, then don't order down. Like just, I would say, I'm usually a small in American Eagle anyways. But that specific style is a little bit more loose. And I got this cute, this is also that soft and sexy tank. And this is, I got a size small in this as well. Look how pretty that is. So this one kind of is one of those higher neck styles that I really love. I absolutely love anything with lace. I think this would be really cute with under a jean jacket or a blazer or just heck by itself with some black jeans or just light wash distressed jeans. It's just so cute and it's super, super soft. Can't come, A lot of these come in different colors, but I got the white. And then the last thing that I got is one of these kind of strappy tanks. And I like the color. It's like a burnout um, washed look. And there's a whole lot of straps going on, but it's kind of neat. This is one of those uh, tank tops you definitely don't need to wear jewelry with. I know, it's like, how do you get into that? <laughs> I, I saw it on the hanger and I'm like, how do you get into this? This looks very complicated. But I see people wearing stuff like this all the time and I just have never bought any of it. Um, but I like this. Is that the front? Yeah, that's the front, right? Oh, geez. Um, but anyways, I like how it's ribbed and it's that soft, worn look. <laughs> Apparently, I like to buy things that look like they've, you know, been in my closet for 10 years and have been worn a hundred times. But I don't know. I like that soft, worn-in look. You know, it's it's comfortable and it's just my style. It's like casual. I get glamorous here. You know, I put on the lashes and the red lip and it looks fancy and the rest of me is just casual. So, is that everything I wanted to show you? That's everything I wanted to show you. Like I said, we went to Pier 1. We spent some good time there. Mom got some stuff. She did buy some t-shirts also at um, American Eagle. And she also did the buy to books get one free thing so yeah we had a great time i just wanted to pop in here and show you what i bought 